And good evening, my lovely Lost Tales, and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my soothing Sunday stream. Although, to be fair, this game isn't exactly soothing, but it is appropriate that I play it on a Sunday. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight as we get into playing Chapter 3 of Faith, the Unholy Trinity. I am so excited to see how this story ends. <laughs> oh, and thank you for the stretch check, Hayden. Oh, it's a little bit loud for you guys. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Okay, that should be a little bit better. And yeah, the title music is a little bit louder than the game, but honestly, like, a lot of the, uh, the sound in this game is a little bit on the louder side, so that should be a bit better for you guys, a bit more of a balance. Oh, but I hope you're all doing well, guys. Oh, thank you for the hydrate check, Echo. So yes, settle in, pour yourselves a drink, and this is a game, um, all of this, uh, all the chapters of this game have multiple endings, but I'm just going with my gut, I'm not going for any particular ending, I'm not doing a completionist run or anything, I just want to experience this amazing story, because I've been waiting to sink my teeth into the final chapter. So, I hope you're all ready to see how this story ends. Faith Chapter 3. And yes, everyone, happy Halloween Eve. Tomorrow is Halloween. I hope you've all been doing some wonderful stuff this weekend. And uh, I hope you're also taking the time to celebrate tomorrow. Watch some cool horror movies. Have a good time. I'm going to leave that selected. Because I'm not quite sure what that refers to. But we'll see how things go. Have your nerves recovered from Friday's collective mommy nightmare? Um, mostly. Mostly. My nerves are mostly intact now. <laughs> I'm ready to watch my favourite stream and play a cool 8-bit horror game. Thank you so much, Sam. Hell yes. Everyone, settle in. Enjoy as we battle demons once again in Faith Chapter 3. I have no idea what lies ahead in this chapter because I've had no spoilers or anything. September 21st, 1986. 86, baby. I don't need to tell you that this assignment is top secret. Yes, sir. Based on what I saw during my previous visits, we could be in for a very long night. Is this your first exorcism? Ooh. Yes, sir. Are you afraid? I don't know, sir. That's father to you. I'll give you a word of advice. Follow my instructions with exactness. Don't trust what you may see or hear. Okay, yes, this looks like it's a prequel, or you get to see what happened with the exorcism from the first game. Because in the first chapter, we're returning to the house after a year to see what happened. Ooh, I'm already loving seeing all these rotoscoping animations. Yep. Oh no. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Martin. This is my assistant, Father Ward. Shall we begin? Oh no. Can I see the picture? Yep. Oh no. Yeah, we're gonna see what went wrong. She's in the back. I had to tie her up. I understand. Don't be afraid, Mr. Martin. The Lord's servants are here. If you say so.
the muffled audio is like really cool and unsettling. Oh, hi. This feels familiar. Okay. Where, where is she? Hi. You know, we're here to help. Hello, Amy. Can you hear me, Amy? Rest at me, add me day along. October 28th, 1987, three days until the profane Sabbath. Okay, here we go. John, we don't have much time. The profane Sabbath is almost upon us. and they find Nate and Jason, they will perform a ritual on them to call forth the demon of unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malfas. I'm in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. We must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy, Father Garcia. Okay. So yeah. I'm not going in there. I'm sure whoever's in that room is fine. They're perfectly fine. John, I can't find Nate or Jason Martin in the state foster care system. It's possible that after what happened last year, they want to live with, uh, they went to live with relatives. I will try to find out what I can. Meanwhile, go investigate the clinic where Amy worked. We must find the place where they intend to summon Malfas and disrupt their plans. Veo con Dios, Father Garcia. Amy, wake up. I don't like this. Have you forgotten already? Things are never quiet as they seem. If you can't discern truth from lies, you can try remembering what you know to be true. Press escape or the start button to review your notes. Okay. So yeah, Amy was um, possessed by uh, a demon. I'm not sure whether the demon was Malfas themselves or uh, a demon that was in the service of Malfas, but that was essentially the first game or oh, the first chapter was going back and uh, trying to fix what went wrong and uh, that was fine not yet I just want to have a quick look just to see if there's anything else Okay, that's cute that you can kind of go past the other houses and see what they're doing. Yeah, it, it's a little creepy, but just shows the level of care in this game. I have a feeling that the parents are not at all innocent in this. Yeah, I think that there was maybe something that the parents did as well. Or maybe they brought something into the house, they brought the demon with them. Oh, actually, in the first chapter, didn't they say that uh, like the father went on a trip and brought back a doll for Amy? That looks... Uh, like it was possessed, or oh, implies that that was carrying something that then in turn possessed Amy. Hmm. I think he was on deployment. Ah, that's right. Okay, I'm good to go. Samuel, you're too kind. I'm actually really happy with how my lips came out tonight. Good to know. I like this music though, this is great. I'm just careful about crossing the street. Oh, poor birdie. 
Because I'm a little bit worried that... Did it move? Okay. And yeah, I'm enjoying um, uh, a glass of smokehead whiskey tonight because a nice little bit of whiskey helps to kind of set the mood and help me relax a little bit at the end of a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Mm. Yep. I. You're gonna hear some weird, creepy 8-bit audio. I homemade my own gnocchi tonight, today. I have so much. Oh, Grown Up Planet. Gnocchi is so good. I think that's one of my favorite pastas. Oh. Okay, we just seem to be repeating on that street. Okay. Nothing interesting down there. Hang on. Oh my god. Okay. If you look in the top corner here, this um, uh, looks like it's an homage to three other games. So, um, I can't remember the name of that one in particular, but it was like, um, uh, it was like a similar 8-bit horror game that kind of messed with your PC. I think that face is from there. That's WD Gaster from Undertale, and that's the creature from Yume Nikki. I'm sure, I'm sure it has its own name, the creature from Yume Nikki, but, um, couldn't, can't, uh, couldn't quite remember it off the top of my head. That's cool. crossing the street. I don't want to get hit by a truck. Calling all metal fans. I'm listening. Bills of Fest 1987 rocks the hell out of Hartford. A Friday night, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Featuring appearances by When All Is Said and Done, Trust No Corpse, The Horror Is Dead, Basement 2, Return to Bondage, Among the Bloodied, Lying Still in Silence, Mother of Shadow, and The Door to Afterbirth. Advanced uh, sales tickets, $3, and uh, at the door is five dollars. Um, uh, where's Corroded Coffin? Uh, Corroded Coffin should be on that list. <laughs> that was a fest, 1987. Fuck yeah. Seeing there's anything here. Oh, you feel watched. Okay. We look to be in a medical facility? Facts to Ro uh, Rhonda Erickson from Gary Miller. Uh, hi Rhonda, just a couple of reminders after last week's visit. Please keep your desk tidy. Our patients need to feel at ease with the, their healthcare experience. Remember our sales points. Clean, quick, courteous. Do not return any calls from the Department of Health before notifying me first or leaving a message with Tiffany. We can't afford another surprise inspection. Please do call uh, call me on my direct personal line if you happen to hear back from Miss, uh, Ms. Martin. Okay. One more thing. Keep Jeffrey out of sight. Remember, Gary loves you. Everything's fine. Everything's good and great and fine. Mm. I do like the two tones, um, this like light pink and dark pink and how it implies like shadow. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this was maybe a fertility uh, clinic or healthcare clinic? Ooh. Ooh, that, that does not look right. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. I think we might be going slightly into Omen territory. Perhaps. Maybe. Mm, why is this chair different? I can see that. <laughs> I wonder if I can use it on anything. 
Okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go, and I'm gonna st stay away from that chair as much as I can. I just... I don't know, I had a feeling that it was just gonna come flying out of nowhere and hit me. Just, just a hunch. Oh, actually, I can use the crowbar on that door, can't I? But do I want to see what's inside? <laughs> Fucking fuck! No, 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 I don't like this, I don't like this, let go! Oh no, I hate this! Oh fuck. This is fine. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. I need to leave. I need to get out of here. What's going on? Keep struggling! Oh. Ah Hey, first step! Okay, can I hide behind here? Is this enough cover? Am I out of sight? Okay, I'm going. I'm behind this. Will that will that work? Please, because I can't get out of the chair. Oh, what the fuck is that thing, though? Okay. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Getting the fuck out of here. Oh no, 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 no. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. Okay, I think I can kind of scooch my way around those uh, beds that are on the left-hand side, and I'll give that another try. Okay. I should be fine here. Ah. Mm. That might be Jeffrey that they mentioned in the facts, but I don't know. Go away! Uh, go away, go away, go away. Go away! Ooh, we have our first pick my voice of the night. How does Glasha feel about this game? Well, I, 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 I personally prefer to um, fight against things that, uh, you know, I prefer to like either see uh, punch them or them to meet their demise with uh, my blade and my magic. This is more cleric territory, so. Uh, Does this work? Please. Please don't notice me. I don't like this. Go away. Come on. Get out of here. Yeah, I have a feeling that um, uh, some clerics or some paladins are sorely needed. How exactly do I get out of this? Help! Uh, your assistance would be appreciated. Help!
Yes, I'm happy to leave. Let's let's get out of here, officer. Come on. Let's let's just go calmly and peacefully. Okay, we'll get out. That is a very good question, officer. I don't quite know myself. Thank you for the hydrate check, Dreamsmaker. Come on. I'm not a cleric or a paladin, but that seemed to work. Well, that happened. Oh! What? Uh, officer? I, I don't believe you're looking so good. Can I, can I take your gun? Apparently not, okay. Mm. Mm -mm. All right, let's keep going then, shall we? Anything interesting down this way? Hmm, perhaps not. I'm just gonna keep looking around, see if there's anything I spot. I think that's everything. We've got some more information uh, about Amy. We took care of that demon, so let's let's perhaps keep going. And everything was fine. <laughs> oh, oh, great, we're back here. Wonderful. Hmm. All right, I'm working on it. Exorcio de Creator Salis, Abjuro de Maledictory. Oh, and that comes to the end of the back. That picked my voice. Thank you so much, Dork Souls, for requesting Glasha, the Green Fire. Exorcio de Perdeum Vivium Fantasma. In nomine Jesu Christi, que venturoide just care vivos e mortos. I'm mispronouncing all of that, probably. No. Come on, parents, you should not be down here. Come on. But I can't move them. Okay. Let's let's go. Come on. There we go. That thing down there that's not my daughter. I don't know what to tell you. It's not. It's an... I need to go and assist Father Aldred. Stay here and pray for Amy. 
Like, Glasha, she's she's wonderful and she does have some skill with magic, but I imagine when it comes to, like, demonic stuff or, like, the stuff that's under... that's usually taken care of by, like, clerics and paladins, mm, it's not quite something that uh, I imagine orcs like her would be familiar with. Take it. Save her. Oh, shit. Okay. Hey, love. Don't worry, Abby. I'm coming. Take it. Save her. Oh, shit. October 29th, 1987. Two days until the profane Sabbath. I'm not going in there. Oh, it's all good, Toby. It's all good. Ooh, lots of letters. John, for now, this is only the only way I can contact you. I think they're watching me. I need you to come over as soon as you can. The situation has gotten much worse. The, my address is 665 Orange Street, uh, apartment 5A, New Haven... CT? Uh, what state is uh, CT? Uh, 06511. Thank you, Lisa. P.S. If for some reason I don't answer the door, get the spare key from my friend Tiffany. Wait, Tiffany, wasn't she the receptionist of the health clinic? Connecticut. Okay, thank you. John, there's an apartment building in New Haven where they may be attempting to summon Malthus. I'm not able to go there myself. It's up to you to stop their rituals. They are done, uh, con Dios, Father Garcia. John, I don't know if you're getting my letters or not, but I hope you'll be here soon. I really need your help. They're in the apartment. Um, I see them all the time now. I can hear them in the darkness. I haven't slept in days. When you get here, just come straight to my place. Tiffany can't be trusted. Don't talk to my neighbors either. They won't uh, let me leave. Lisa. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna have a quick... I'm gonna have a quick check in here just to see if there's any other letters. No. And... Okay, I'm curious. I wanna have a quick look over and see if, like, the TV... What's on TV has changed. For the neighbors. Okay, that's still fine. What about the other one? Okay, and they're also fine. Okay, good, good, good. We can go then. Because I'm expecting, like, at some point, when you, if you do that, they'd all just, like, have their heads turned to you and are staring at you. If you go back there a third time, I've had the family staring out the window. I just said that! Absolutely! All right. Okay, so we Tiffany has the key, but Tiffany can't be trusted if we're not able to get in. Okay. Something different about that car because it's purple? No. Among the dam. Hang on. I want to quickly look down the hallways first. Just in case there's something like this. Hello, Mr. Ward. I'm sorry to have worried you. I'm perfectly fine. I've not been feeling like myself lately. However, I'm much better now. Please do not trouble yourself with coming to visit. I've decided to take an extended vacation in the country, so you will not find me at home. Sincerely, Lisa Pearson. I will take my other notes from Lisa. Let's have a look. Two, three. Because these also they also put them in order, I think. Um, metal fans. That was the fax. Um, uh, to Rhonda. 
because there, there was that mention of Tiffany. Um, Department of Help from before notifying me first or leaving a message with Tiffany. Uh, please do call me back on my direct personal line if you happen to uh, hear back from Ms. Martin. Oops. Uh, this note is missing. Haven't found that yet. Uh, John, this apartment building in New Haven. Okay, so they might be trying to summon Malfas here. Um, John, so we can contact you. It's from Lisa. John, I don't know if you're getting my letters or not, but I hope you'll be here soon. Okay, can't. And then she says you can't trust Tiffany because, like, she might be involved, perhaps. And that's from Lisa. Hello, Mr. Ward. I'm sorry to have worried you. Perfectly fine. Yeah, that doesn't feel right. That feels like that letter was, um, written to kind of throw people off. Okay, hang on. Uh, okay, Lisa is, a uh, 05A. Zero five A is uh, Lisa Pearson. Tiffany is um, zero three B. I think Tiffany Robinson. I think I could be wrong. She never signed her full name, and she called him John. Ooh, yeah, that's a good point. Let's check the basement first. Oh shit. And spooky down here. No, I don't like that. I need I need a light source. I'm gonna look through the rest of the apartment complex first and then go down there. Because once the music was starting to pick up, I I I just noped out of there so quickly. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Is there anything weird with the plant? Like a spare key, perhaps? Maybe not. What's this? Is this looks like a broken mirror. Oh, stick foot stretch check. Quality time. Oh. Why are all the mirrors broken? I don't like this. Okay, let's take the elevator. Okay. I thought she was in 5B. If you like playing games, the first floor is a great place to start over. However, to play the game, you must know the rules. Beware if you have a, a susceptible soul, you might get pulled in. Hmm. It's locked. K5A. Okay, that feels like that's... Tiffany's apartment, not Tiffany's, um, Lisa's apartment. Lisa. I know they, she said Tiffany can't be trusted, but I think we're going to have to go to speak to Tiffany. What apartment was it Tiffany again? Hang on. Do we have Tiffany's last name? Um, it just mentions a Tiffany, but doesn't give her last name. From my friend Tiffany, doesn't mention her last name. Oh wait, spare key from my friend Tiffany. I think there was a couple of ones with T names. Um, let's go back down and uh, check the mailboxes again.
I'm getting... That elevator makes me uncomfortable. Just because, like, of the way it's framed, it makes me feel like there's going to be someone who tries to get into the elevator with us, maybe. Okay, it was Lisa Pearson. There isn't anyone with a T name. Um, there. So it's either T. Robinson on the third floor. Or T. Boone on the eighth floor. Okay, so it's third floor or the eighth floor. I just rewatched one of your ASMR videos and I was going to ask for that voice, but instead pick Glasha. Oh, it's all good, Dog Souls. Okay, let's go third floor, fl uh, third floor first. It's also the droning white noise as well. That's really cool and creepy. Okay, so it's pretty much only two apartments on each floor on either side. Oh great, the door's wide open. Is that a tree with cigarette butts in it? Oh great. Mmm, I don't like this. I'm just gonna grab the key. And then I'm gonna go. Mm. Hi. Something's coming. I can hear it. Oh shit. We need to go. We need to go now. And Amy was on the fifth floor. We need to go. We need to go. Hey Mike, how's it going? Welcome back. But oh. That, that pulsing, that droning noise is giving me such a feeling of fucking dread. Because it's also on one side of my headphones. Oh no. Oh shit, that, that's not good. If you wish to break the seal of uh, seal of Alu, your answer lies in the bloodstained knife and the face hiding in the deep dark. But only those who have ascended to the highest point can descend to the lower steps. Remember, Gary loves you. Okay, highest points to lower steps. We're going up to the top floor, I think. Let's go up to the top floor and see if there's something there, like, um, that's where a torch is hidden or something like that, because the basement is completely pitch black. Come on. Come on. Sacrifice what you cling to. Basement dumbwaiter, how to use. Pull up the handle to open hatch. Place item or being in uh, to be sacrificed inside the container. Pull down the handle to close hatch. Press button to send dumbwaiter to basement. Light will blink red if done successfully. Please be sure, make sure your sacrifice does not jostle around inside the container. Do not open hatch once dumbwaiter has reached the basement. I do not have enough earplugs and I am tired of people losing them. <laughs> Please wait for the green light to come on before using. Okay, that's the basement. Do we need to put something in there? Not yet. 
I'm just going to check the other side first to see if there's anything useful there. And then we have to put our cross in the dumbwaiter. Oh no. Oh no, I don't like this. Okay. It looks like we have to put the cross in the dumbwaiter. Oh, I oh. I don't like this. Yes. So be it. Sean of Stargazer, thank you so much for the 95 bits. Happy early Halloween. I hope you're doing good so far. Like your costume. What is new? I am doing really well. I'm enjoying this wonderful game with all of you. Um, but thank you so, so much for the bits. I really appreciate it. What was the... Okay, I want to double check. What was the rule for that again? Pull down the hatch and close the hatch. Press the button to send the dumbwaiter to the basement. Light will blink red if done successfully. Please make sure your sacrifice does not jostle around inside the container. Do not open hatch once dumbwaiter has reached the basement. I do not have enough earplugs. Please wait for the green light to come on before using. Okay. I'm just going to see. Do I have to go down to the basement? Okay. This is fine. Let's head down, shall we? We need to go. We need to go. We need to fucking go. Oh, I don't like this. Down to the basement we go. No, 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 no. The distorted music. Fuck. No, no. Keep going. No. No. Basement. I need to go to the basement. No. No, 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 no. Oh, no. I... Gary lied to us. When you see it, run. Get to the stairs. Get to the stairs. And head downstairs. Oh great, that's blocked off. Can I go the other way then? Please? Oh fuck. I saw it. Oh no! Oh no 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 no, this is fine. This is fine, this is not fine. It turned out it was not fine. It's a great mechanic though. But goddamn is this fucking terrifying. <laughs> Fuck this game. It's it's so good. But no. Can I get past there? No. Shit. going. Keep fucking going. Keep fucking going. That was the attic. No, 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 no. Let me out. Let me out! No. Oh, fuck this. No, I hate this. I'm trying to get out of here. But I can't. Why is it not letting me out? I'm trying to get out. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, keep going. Keep going. 
keep going. <laughs> Run. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Um, there was something bright in the corner. I think I need to get it. Oh, maybe not. Where, where do I go? No! Okay, I just came from here. Okay, I need to go through here. Was that a fridge or was that the door? Okay, I need to go down here. Fuck, they're right there. I hate this! Like, this is so cool, but I'm fucking terrified, you guys. <laughs> okay, there's a note there. I'm gonna go grab the note to read the note. Can I pick up the note? Oh, wait. Okay. I think I got that. No, I didn't. Hang on. Oh, thank you for the hydrate check. Okay, no, it's just a just a bloody dagger. That's fine. Oh, fuck. The lack of audio is also getting to me, except for the sound of the shutter of the camera. Yep, too dark to read, I guess. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Keep going. I think you need to be on it while lit up. Okay, one second. Let's give that another try. Okay, one second. Okay, I was right on it and didn't seem to pick up, so I'm just going to keep going. Oh, I hate this. Like, this is... Run. No, wait. I remember that. You stay still, don't you, from the second game? I'm gonna try and stay still. <laughs> oh, fuck it, I'm running. I'm running. Fuck! Oh, I hate this! <laughs> Wait, I think this is Jeremy. Oh, shit. 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 <laughs> Why am I bleeding? Keep moving. Just keep moving. Why can't I leave? Okay, we're almost at the basement. I can almost get my cross. Oh, shit, go away. Go the fuck away, but at least we have a light source now, guys. Ha ha ha! Please, just want my cross. Okay. Okay. I'm picking up the note first before touching anything. <coughs> Excuse me. My beloved Gary, alas, the mask is already stained with blood. My blood. The ritual is complete. 
You will not find me in on this mortal plane, for I am beyond. Look for me in the unseen world if you dare, Tiffany. Mm. Hi. That would be part of the seal, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. That? Oh, and then we need to use the cross on the dagger, I imagine. Okay. Run. Shit. Mortis. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Just keep fucking going. Yeah, the way the candles were lighting up, just mmm, no, 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 no. At least I got my cross back. I love this game. This game is so fucked up and I love it. Oh shit, we're not. Is that us? We're not looking so hot. Oh great. Are we possessed now? Oh great. Can I use my cross still? Okay, I'm good. Oh, I like this. What is it that's so fucking brilliant about this game? Is that it's it's purely 8-bit. It's it takes away so much of the visuals, but it leaves so much more for your imagination to fill in the blanks, and it this is just a really cool game, you guys, and I really love it. Oh, I hate this. It's 8 been done right. Absolutely. Okay. I'm just gonna try and retrace my steps. Because I'm sure I can interact with a lot of stuff with my cross now that I have it back. Brothers and sisters, this month we'll be ho we will be host to a very special visitor. It is here to uh, it is here to help prepare the way for the coming of the unspeakable. Of course, due to its special nature, it has full access to the entire building, including your apartments, bedrooms, etc. If you are lucky enough to see it, you would do well not to approach or speak to it. Find a dark or dimly lit area and try to stay out of its way. One of you will be blessed to find it has made its home in your dwelling. Do not go down into the hole it will make, no matter whose voice you hear from here down there. If you believe one of your fellow brothers or sisters is inside, please notify me and I will uh, retrieve their remains in a timely manner. Also, just a reminder that rent and uh, utilities are due by Friday. Love, Gary. Fuck you, Gary. Games don't need 4K graphics to be brilliant and atmospheric. Absolutely. Like, I was enjoying that. I'm genuinely enjoying the hell out of um, the new DLC for Resident Evil Village, uh, Shadows of Rose, and that's fantastic. But I on, was on the edge of my seat during that camera section in this game. Just, it's so good. Okay, now we can read it. Every initiated follower knows that in order to bring about the second death, one must sacrifice seven something by uh, passing them through the carved out of impure vessel's face. Then shall the unspeakable reward the something with the second death. Such was the fate of that whore Amy. My beloved Gary has set his sights far too low. I will surpass her. Tiffany? No. T T Tiffany? Oh shit. Wait, did it not do the part with the mask? Is it timed? Please don't let it be timed. I'm gonna go down again 
and try to use my cross on the mask because I'm not sure if it's a timed thing. I don't think it would be timed. That wouldn't make sense. But yeah, it didn't work as it should before. Let's try just taking the elevator and see if that makes a difference. Come on, come on, come on. I think that was the first time I've seen a uh, Don't Blink horror section in a AAA game alone uh, that wasn't Boon Mario. <laughs> like, my- you- you saw how stressed out I was playing that section in, um, Shadows of Rose the other night. It- it's so good, but I was so fucking scared. Oh god, that thing's gonna be down here, isn't it? Hey, Chev, how's it going? Okay, so it didn't do it before. But now I got it and everything's fine. And I'll just grab that note. It must have been something like it refreshed it when, um... Ah. Okay, let's give that another try then. Okay. Because yeah, I think I need to stay in that candle section. Until it goes away, maybe? Or like, move with the candles and that's where I'm safe? I don't know. Trial and error with this game. And I've been doing well, Sheb. I'm just enjoying the Halloween weekend as much as I can. Oh shit, okay. Okay, once I get out of the basement, then I know exactly where I need to go. Okay. I already got that. Candles. Okay. The candles indicate where it is, not where I'm safe. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's give that another try then. I assume I have to beat it or I have to exercise it and then I can make progress to go upstairs and stuff to get the second half of the seal. I think I just took like a slightly longer way around and I didn't realize that the that this had been reset. But that's okay. We live and learn. Not seven, okay. I know your secret. What secret is that? Put out your eyes. Okay. You can't hide anymore. One. Come on. Okay. We're good. I think we're good now. Okay. There we go. That's more like it. I've been marathoning almost nothing but horror games this month. Have you been having a good time, Sam? Like, this time of the year, it's perfect for horror games and 
the fact that this month has had so many incredible new releases and announcements and stuff like I'm so excited for what lies for ahead for next year's releases for horror games because I'm, I'm still skeptical on some aspects of like the announcements for the new Silent Hill projects but I am intrigued by what we saw in the trailers Mortis. This is not authorized by the Vatican. Oh. Yep, and then we got that. And then we'll go up and we'll do the thing with the dagger. Oh, the best. I've loved going over my catalog and visiting some AI I haven't touched in a while. My favorite so far has been the Mortuary Assistant. I, I've been thinking about maybe playing the Mortuary Assistant, but it feels like there's a lot of aspects to it which is more focused on jump scares, which is what I don't enjoy in horror games. Even though, like, uh, my amazing friend Autumn Ivy, she's in the Mortuary Assistant, and I, so I really want to play it and, like, support a project that she's in. But at the same time, I, I can't do jump scares. I hate them. I, I can't do them. Okay, there we go. Let's head back up to Lisa's place. You would like it. It scares more like what you saw in the Resident Evil stream uh, last Friday. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I'm, I might check it out. Okay, let's head up to the fifth floor then. Everything's fine. gonna be safe. We're all gonna have a great time. Okay, then we got that. Lisa, is that you? Lisa, Ted, got you were alright. Good, what are you so good? It's so good, I can't see through it anymore. I got here as fast as I could. Let's go, Lisa. I'm not Lisa. Mm -mm. Oh no. No, 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 stop it. I'm trying! Ah! More this. Let's give that another try, shall we? It, it sounds so broken, but it's so cool, though. Because I love analog horror so much and, like, glitch horror, so this is right up my alley. Especially anything with, like, uh, really disordered, um... Voices. I I ju I just personally find that really cool. Ah, go away, go away, Lisa. Go away. Ah. Find it, John. Oh no. 
Oh, Lisa. Oh, fuck. What have we done? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get the bad ending. I have a feeling we're gonna get the bad ending. Because there's so many endings to this game, but I'm just playing it my way, and we'll see how things go. But you know what? Uh, that didn't go as planned, so let's just leave. Can we leave? Can, can, can we leave? Uh, Ruteki, very much a unfortunate turn of events. Get me the fuck out of here, though. That did not go well. Mm mm. Mm -mm. Thanks for the stretch, check Hayden. I feel really bad. I don't know what I did wrong, though. I mean, I, I accidentally killed her, but... Okay, I'm gonna try and save Amy, though. Amy, I can see you. That's not there anymore. Okay. Okay. Amy? Amy, where are you? I just want to talk. I, I just want to talk. Mistress, Mrs. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh shit. Bob's glasses. There's something right behind me. Alright. Amy? But I will say that's really cool to have like the lightning flashing outside. That is, a r that's really cool. Uh, I don't like this. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Oh no, I don't like this. No, 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 no. I don't know what I did wrong, she said with bloody hands. <laughs> well, the devil made me do it. I don't remember anything further. Can I go this way? By the way, I enjoyed how you ended the dry to ASMR. Thank you so much, Ruteki. Endings... Are you in here? Endings are very difficult to get, but I'm really, really glad and uh, that everyone liked it so much and the feedback's been fantastic. People saying really nice things. Okay, Amy, I'm coming up to the attic. Amy? Amy? Hi. You're here at rest, please. Amy, let's go back to some basement. I don't think she wants to go back down there. Let's go, you need to get better. Mmm. What about Meredith? Who's Meredith? You should be saved. Do you that she loves? She's here with me. You do. We are going to see her at now. All by yourself. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Please do a little stick at me. Father Alred, Mr. Martin. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. That got me. The audio change got me. Mm. And then everything was fine. October 30th, 1987. One day until the profane Sabbath. I'm really curious to see how this is gonna go, because especially with like Lisa dead. Hmm. This is fine. And hey, it is today. It's October 30th. John, 
I'm getting reports of children exhibiting strange behavior at the daycare center on 4th Street. If Nate and Jason are there, then you can bet that uh, this is the place where they will try to summon Malthus. There's no time left. Go to the daycare and find out what's really going on. Fear not. Veque Don Dios, uh, con Dios, Father Garcia. Mm. Everything's fine. Everything's great. Let's check the houses first. Mmm, I knew it. This isn't right. This is not right. And yeah, I fully expect I'm getting the bad ending, but I'm just going with my gut and just rolling with what happens. Um, not trying to go for any particular ending. Whatever happens, happens. And then I would highly encourage if you wanted to see the different endings to this game, pick up this game for yourself and uh, have a little bit of a look around. Because honestly, Airdorf is a fantastic developer. That was a reference to Candle Cove. Uh, the um, the figure with the blue background and the hook. That's that's a reference to Candle Cove. I I know my creepy past is shit. Okay, let's go. But yeah, my gut's telling me we're going to get a bad ending, but there's multiple endings to this game. I'm just going with what my first genuine experience is, rather than, like, following any guides or suggestions, and seeing what happens. I didn't mean to kill Lisa! Oh. What's going on? Uh, what the fuck's going on? It looks like we can go around the back, though. Hmm. But why are we entering a building that is surrounded by cops? Yeah. Okay. Just with that in mind, take care of yourself because I, I don't, I genuinely don't know what happens in this game. Um, but if this is kind of getting into school, uh, an attack at a school, especially with what's been happening in the past like couple of months, just take care of yourself. If you need to step away from my stream because this game makes you genuinely uncomfortable, please do. I just want you to take care of yourselves, okay? A riddle priest. How do you make a portal to hell? Come see me and I'll show you. Yeah, just take care of yourselves when, as we proceed with this game, okay? Wait. Let's try that door then. The tunnels await. Ben, age six. Oh, shit. Gary loves us. Oh, those were the symbols that were on the TV! Mother Moon watcheth her little ones behind a door of sleep. Daughter Chalice is filled, an offering to the master in the unseen world. Spirit bird arriveth from afar and cometh back to roost. These vessels are the unholy trinity. The fallen star shall guide them. What colours can you see? Look at, uh, to the children if you are lost. Pink, green, turquoise and blue.
Oh, does this have something to do with the picture that we saw before? Let's have a look again. Okay, the star was red, the girls were in pink, the boys were in blue. Is there anything down here? Okay, I think the star was red. So it was a cup, a moon, and a bird. That... It looks like a rain cloud. Maybe that's reference to the cup, maybe? Uh, and the moon is uh, orange. Stars red, moon's orange. Oh no. Oh, poor Kaylee. And the cup is pink. Oh shit, these poor kids. Mmm. Oh, that's not good. What the fuck is that? Thanks, Satan. Oh, great. Oh, great. Everything is good and fine and wonderful and great. What the fuck is that? Okay, so the cup... The cup is pink, the moon is orange, and the last one I can figure out through trial and error, but the star was red. Oh, cat girl, like, this is the last chapter of uh, this game. So you might be missing quite a bit of context. Oh, shit. This is where it lives. Oh great, it gets worse. 8-bit ASMR when, like, like I like doing that kind of creepy 8-bit voice from time to time. I don't know if you guys would want like a full ASMR video of it. <laughs> More tears. She guns killed six little twigs. Only two were left. Walkers asks. Go ahead, priest. Stare into the eyes of my mother. Or, to un probably understand what I just said. She consumed six little twigs. Only two were left to Walkers husks. Go ahead, priest. Stare into the eyes of my mother. Nope. You're gonna hurt your voice doing that. It doesn't actually hurt. It's a little bit... Of a, a little bit of a strain, but it's not too bad, actually. Oh, shit. Your 8-bit voice is so good. Thank you, Granite Planet. Hi. You seem like a, a lovely young woman. I would... Uh, I'm trying to not look at your portrait anymore. Oh, okay. Um, y you got a little something. Um, can, can, can you stop? Can, can, can we go? Um, I guess not. Okay. Mm-mm. Mm -mm, I don't like this. Oh, no, 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 I don't like this. Hmm. Do you think my face is pretty? Mm. Something's gonna be right behind us. Oh, fuck!
This is fine. This is good and great and fine. Gaze upon the magnificence of La Pieta uh, uh, Corotta. This beautiful statue depicts a faithful member of the order receiving the second death in the loving embrace of Emata, I'm assuming the mother. Two such statues were commissioned thanks to the grievous, generous uh, patronage of the Say family. We invite everyone to reverently approach the statue whenever they are in need of rest. Okay, is this my save point? Yeah, I thought so. If you are reading this, congratulations! You have officially been granted Tier 2 status of the Eternal Order of the Second Death. Upon crossing the threshold from Tier 1 to Tier 2, your life as an acolyte will change dramatically. You may start noticing shadowy figures in the corners of rooms, or experiencing uh, experience feelings of lost time when holding sharp objects. Ancient symbols written in blood will materialize on the floor, and walls of your home Animals will no longer trust you. You may emit a foul odor that will cause your former loved ones to avoid you. These are just a few of the marvelous blessings that await you in the new stage of life. If you remain loyal to Gary, your journey towards becoming a vessel for the second death will progress to new levels of knowledge and power. Remember, if you neglect your weekly meetings or do not pay your tithes to the order, your fingers will be forcibly bent backwards. Gary loves you. And yet, the sound design is so freaking good in this game. Okay, save point. Good to know. Because, like, that pulsing sound, it sounds like footsteps of something approaching. Go away. Mm, everything's fine. Okay. Puzzle time, maybe? Okay. They all give a favor. The low seats are made high. Can I move these? Okay. Five seats in the north facing west. Five seats in the south facing east. Andras South Discord, East and West Trade Places. Ordog stirreth his pot full of sinners. The seats res uh, revolve. Okay. Am I looking for something? So. They all give a favor. The low seats are made high. Give him five seats in the north facing west, five seats in the south facing east. I'm not quite sure what we're supposed to do with this or what we're supposed to get from this, but I'll have a look around and see if there's something else I need to do first. Can you cross turn the seats? It doesn't seem to have any effect. Well, that's okay. Got plenty of time to figure this out. Okay. See what happens if I do all of them. There you are, you. So I think each of them have a, an effect on like the r shifting the seats. Bail give a favor, the low seats are made high. So I assume if you then select one of those uh, three deities, um, three demons I should say, uh, then it shifts the seats in the room. But I'm going to go over to the other side just in case like one is over on like the right side of the space is um, directly correlated to this and then I have a better idea of what I need to do. Hey Carmina, how's it going? Okay. 
Go away. Go away. Okay, let's give this another try. Save. All right. Go away. Well, how should the seats be? Ordog stirreth his pot full of sinners. The seats revolve. Andra soweth discord, east and west trade places. Okay, so I think I need to get it. Five seats in the north facing west, five seats in the south facing east. Okay. Five seats in the north facing west, five seats in the south facing east. Okay, so I... Okay, five seats in the north facing west, five seats in the south facing east. Okay. So it needs to be flipped. Um Hmm. Cuz I can rotate it and it's still like the same amount of seats on either side. Actually, no. I shouldn't rotate it, but I should flip it. Let me let me have a look again. Uh, but I'll give a favor. The low seats are made high. Okay, so I, I turned all of them and that didn't work. So I think I need to flip it. Ordogs uh, stir this pot full of sinners. I think I need to select Andros. Andros soweth discord, east and west trade places. Let's just go one at a time. Low seats made high. Okay, Bale and Andros. Let's try that. I think this is Bale. Let's just do that one and see what happens. Mm. No, that didn't seem to do it right. Oh shit! What the fuck are you? <laughs> Let's give that another try, shall we? Oh, great. Have we been drugged? Oh, well, this is so cool, though. Oh, great. I saw those two in the windows. That was Lisa and the priest, wasn't it? I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight, but this is great. Mm. This is so fucking cool. No, you are ready. Oh shit. Okay. There's no way in hell I'm going back in there. Oh, and then this is where he ran away. And, like, the exorcism went wrong and he ran. This game is so freaking cool though. <laughs> like, there's some moments where I'm I'm genuinely like super tense. Like that scene with the camera was so good, but this whole thing is just a great experience. 
Mm. Oh no, it's the end of Suspiria. <laughs> We're a bet. Oh, you're you're still alive. Oh no. because at least I'm not sure if this is something that we could have avoided but I think I'm possessed and I I did that oh shit hi Scarlet I've just finished my RPG night looks like bad things have happened yeah Scarlet just a heads up if you're planning on playing this game for yourself I have a feeling we're getting closer and closer to the end um it's a fantastic game I highly recommend it but just a heads up there's gonna probably be like super heavy spoilers for the last chapter of this game oh shit everything's fine Something happened. What happened? That seems to do something. Okay, that didn't do anything. Deliver two under Moloch's hand before opening his navel. Deliver two under Moloch's hands before opening his navel. Okay, so we need to put collect two things for that before opening the door okay so are you in a dungeon a basement or just hell uh we're in the basement of a kindergarten everything is terrible filthy acolyte the substance of gary's influence flows through your veins you are corrupted beyond repair your family and friends have forsaken you there is no returning to, uh from the path you have chosen only gary can save you now give up and fully let him into your heart and mind if you do so he will make you into a vessel worthy of the unspeakable resist and your soul will be lost forever welcome to tier three gary loves you everything's fine Everything's fine. Oh fuck, I can't get away from it. Can I go? Please. S stop with the approaching footsteps. I'm I'm no, I don't like this. Stop it. Stop it. I can't move. Go away. Everything's fine. God, who is this holy mother? I'm gonna keep moving. I didn't see that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. I don't like this. God's almost heritage. Oh. Mm -mm. I don't like this. I don't like this. Okay. I c doesn't seem to be anything I can interact with. This is fine. Good to know. Let's give that another try. Mm. This game. I don't like the sound of that laugh. It's a very sinister laugh. Uh. 
Oh, thank you for the stretch check, Sam. Go away, go away. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. for the Hydra check, Arenas. Oh, thank you. I don't like the look of this gloomy wooden table. Why is the table haunted? Why are these followers in prison cells? Can I do something with the table? I'm gonna keep walking because nothing seems to be interacting. Oh. Oh, great. going. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck. Okay. Did we get both things now? I think we got both things that we needed for the statue. Like that little bit with the mirrors was giving me flashbacks to Silent Hill 3. Go away. Okay. <sighs> Let's play red light, green light. Yep. I fucked up. Let's give that another try, shall we? I was fine the first try, why is it trickier now? Go away, go away, go away, go away. Mm. Fast little shit got me. Stop that. Come on, come on. I can do this. Or can I keep going? No, I just have to get around you. Let's play red light, green light. Shit. Okay. Timing slow I have. Indeed I do. I, I, 
I need to get good at this game. <laughs> Although we've come pretty far already. <gasps> Stop that. To be fair, last time when, I, when we were playing chapters 1 and 2, I died a lot during that. There we go. Blah. Come on. Slow, slow, slow and steady. I'm right there, come on. No. No, 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 fuck! <sighs> Fine. Let's give that another try. That's some bullshit. And that's some bullshit. Come on. Mm. Okay, at least I can still use it while I'm being pulled in, so let's give that another try. And one thing I am glad of in this game is that when you do die, the reload is very quick. And you can just get right into the back into the action right away. Come on. Stop that. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to try and get past him now. Just squeeze past him in order to do red light, green light. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, fuck off. Going. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm just walking. I'm, I'm just fucking leaving. <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh, look, more beautiful works of art. Come on. Come on. Can I go? I want to... I want to go, please. Please. There we go. Okay, save. And I think I've got the three things I needed. Oh, 
<gasps> Wish me luck, guys. Oops. <sighs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. You are now a tier four acolyte. You have descended beyond everything that could possibly save you. Your words are not your own. Your actions are not your own. You belong body and spirit to Gary. Your face itches for the warm embrace of the ritual mask. You long for the blinding pain of the knife. You truly are Gary's chosen vessel. Fear not, only a little longer and you will experience the second death. Adios, Alma Perdita. Gary loves you. Partake of the dark. <sighs> and the darkness is closing in. Everything's fine, you guys. Everything's good and fine. I think I killed my best friend Lisa because I was possessed by the devil, but everything's fine. Oh, I need the lamp. Come on. Almost there. Come on. Oh, good. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to rely purely on my, on what I can hear, can't I? Oh shit. Mmm, oh I don't like this. Everything's fine. Everything's good and great and fine. Just keep going. And there's birds trying to kill me. Everything's fine. Come on. What the frick is this? <clears throat> oh great. Everything's good and fine and great. Mm -hmm. Now we're in a terrifying forest full of dead trees and everything's fine. Go down each of the four paths, release all of them, and there's things in the dark that are angry with me. I'm staying on the path though. guys just as tense as I am because I'm trying really hard not to die. Go away. 
Go away! <gasps> Go away! No, 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 I don't like this. I hate this. Stop it. <gasps> oh my god. I know where we are. My dearest colleague Jacob, thank you for the letter. I'm delighted to hear of the success of your venture to Pennsylvania. However, it was not enough to persuade you, me to join your cause. I have no interest in crumbling ghost towns, nor government experiments, nor the gibbering behemoths that lurk shamefully in the darkness between worlds. Such matters are not worthy of my ex expertise. My methods may be more delicate than yours, but I assure you that they were given... Uh, that uh, they were given to me straight from the source. The Antichrist will step forth very soon. The second death will consume this world. This pitiful fleshy sphere still in its infancy, yet everlastingly too late to redeem. When the time comes, I hope we may reunite in as cohorts, albeit not as equals. Love always, Gary. P.S. I almost forgot to thank you for, for the pet. I will keep it outside my private quarters as a guard against intruders. Wait, those glasses. Are those, is that Mr. Martin? <gasps> oh. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I'm going, I'm going, I'm fucking leaving. I think I need to take care of whatever it is that's out here. Oh, where is it? Well, there's like a break in this barrier of bodies that's around me. Okay, I think maybe it's not out here, whatever it is. Let's have a look again. Or maybe I, I need to defeat those things that are out there. Leaving. I'm leaving. I'm going. Mm, come on. following the path just just following the path okay it's two i think just one more and then i can go come on come on come on come on and hopefully avoid those really fucked up bird things from attacking me Come on, come on, come on. Stop that. Come on, come on. Okay. And then this side. 
breathe. Remember to breathe, guys. Like, my heart is just hammering in my chest. I'm just so nervous. Because I have no idea what's going to happen next. Or what ending we're going to get. <sighs> okay. Keep going. Keep going. going keep going keep going through the terrifying forest okay okay keep moving move 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 I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I need to keep moving. Come on. But like, this is such an incredible game. Like, I could just keep seeing this game's praises, but I think my reactions while playing it has been <laughs> evidence enough of like how much I'm genuinely enjoying this. We're all gonna be safe. How wrong and have a great time! This is so terrible, I'm shaking so hard, but I love it. No, I don't want to open this door. <laughs> but I have to! Do you really want to open this door? Guys, take a deep breath with me. And let's open the door. I don't like this. Oh fuck. Kids. Oh no. Oh fuck. Gary, is that you? Oh. John, son of man, what dost thou wish? This is too much for me. I am so afraid. Please let me escape this place. And the girl? I just want to go home. Oh, John. If I lead us now to safety, her fate shall be sealed upon thine head. I'll do whatever you want. Just take me away from here. John, no, what about Amy? Swear it. I swear it. Fuck. Amy! John, she's still down here! You can't leave her like this! October 31st, 1987. The Profane Sabbath. My name is Gary Miller. So you're the 
dog behind all this. It's a name of the Lord. I demand to know what the hell is going on here. <laughs> Shit, okay. Well, you have come this far. I suppose you deserve some answers. Fine, you get three questions, but no more. What will we ask about? Ask about Gary. Like, the injection, he injected me with some kind of drug. I'm possessed by something. I'm gonna ask about him. What will you ask about? The boys or Malfas? Malfas is, a, from my understanding, a very powerful, like, uh, I think Malfas is a Duke of Hell. I could be wrong, um, but commands great legions and all that. I'm going to ask about what's where the boys are. What? What will you ask about? Where's Amy? What have you done with Amy? You're welcome. Okay. Okay, I might be a little bit... Okay, I'm probably not going to be as active looking at chat, because I'm just going to try not to fucking die. I need my cross. No. Okay. Focus. 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 I need my cross. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Cross. There we go. 
Okay, okay. I do appreciate that it's like not a complete game over if you get hit and you have the chance to get your cross. And then you can keep going. I'm not sure if it's limited, like, you can only take so many hits, but so far, so good. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, no, 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 no. Come on! Fuck! <clears throat> Damn it! Okay. No, thank you. I I like uh, a good thunderstorm. I like some rain, but not spider rain, please. Please. Come on. What the shit is that? What's this Pennywise looking motherfucker? Ah, no, 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 no. Shit. Come on. Is that a fucking deer demon? It's probably going to take me quite a few tries to defeat him, so buckle in guys, we're probably going to be looking at the screen for a while. Stay calm, breathe, be patient. Okay, this feels like second phase stuff. Okay, got, got good. Come on. Okay, cross is right there. Okay. Just keep breathing. Stay calm. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, that was too close. That was too fucking close. Come on. Come on. Shit, 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 No, no, no. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come 
No, 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 no. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh my god, did I do it? Oh my god. Oh my god, fuck yes. I cleanse you with the power of gun. Oh yes. Father Garcia. Fuck yes, we did it guys. Okay, let's go. Let's go. This is the Grossi Blood, the Profane Sabbath, the source of the demonic activity. The seal of the Holy Trinity prevents us from going any further. It appears we missed something in our search, something that could have broken this seal. There must be another way to stop the demon from coming through. I will defend this place as best I can. Don't worry, the thralls of the second death are closing in. Alright. I'll try my best. Uh, not great. Mortis. Ow. Yeah, apparently I didn't. This is the grossy blood, the profane Sabbath, the source of the demonic activity. That wasn't my best. That wasn't my finest moment. Okay, so there were secret bosses and stuff I needed to defeat? Okay. I'm just gonna try my best. Okay. Okay. I have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to do, so I am just going to. Keep doing this. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. That seemed to work? Question mark? Oh, fuck. I think we did it. I think we did it, guys. Like, I didn't do everything right, like, right, with all the bosses and stuff like that, but I tried my best. I tried my best. Well done, you sealed up the demonic force within the crucible. Is it finally over? For now, but we did not fully destroy Geriantis on Holy Trinity. fine 
everything's fine. Yeah, this definitely feels like a bad ending. <laughs> Oops. Oh my god. And that's it, guys. Like, it's not a, the true ending. I don't think it's the true ending or, a, a, like, the right or normal ending. This feels like a bad ending, but I tried my best with this game. And this is the ending I got. <laughs> like, because this is my first time playing with it. Um, I wanted like to just go with my gut and see what would happen, but this game is so, so, so fucking good. And the this one that I'm playing, it's the Unholy Trinity. It's all three chapters in one game. It's still on. It's just come out on Steam. It might still be on sale because usually, like, if it's just come out, there's usually like a little bit of a discount. But honestly, I cannot recommend this game enough. If you've been watching me play it. Like, you know how tense and wonderful this is. And honestly, if you are going to play it, play it with headphones. Because the sound design is absolutely fucking fantastic. And it just keeps you on the edge of, edge of your seat. Um, the end. Ending 1. A new purpose. Okay. So, I got ending 1. I'm not sure how many endings there are in this game. I'm assuming there's quite a few. I think there was maybe about 7 or so different endings in the first, cha in the first chapter. Um... But I'm probably going to revisit this game again and again, try to figure out all the different endings and stuff, but... Honestly, this game is absolutely incredible. And the fact that, like, the first chapter was made by one person, it came... Uh, I think you put it out on, um... Uh, it wasn't on Steam, but it was on uh, another indie gaming website. And it just blew up. Because there's so much care and so much love put into this game. Like, you can feel the amount of love that the creator has for horror in particular. Um, he was, because uh, I was watching some videos about him and like the development of the game. And one of his biggest inspirations for this was um, uh, P.T., which he says is like one of the best, like in his opinion, like his favorite um, horror game. And so... He's also inspired by, like, retro horror and stuff like that. Like, I, I cannot recommend this game enough, guys. <laughs> it's just so, so good. Shall I say how many endings there are and which ending you got? Yes, please, uh, Snake. I really appreciate that. Because it said I got ending one. Um, so I'm not sure how many endings there are for this particular chapter. Because there's, like, a number of different endings for each of the different chapters. Oh, but this was so good. Okay, so th this game has three endings and I got neutral ending. Okay, good to know. I'm curious then what happens if for you to get a bad ending. Like maybe you don't... If there's like something you miss or something you choose not to do. I'm curious. I'm curious then what uh, how to get like the really bad ending. Because there were a lot of points in this game, like when we were attacked by the uh, the cultists and we were like injected with something, I was sure that was like um, like a bad end, like I wasn't quick enough, I didn't get in time. Oh, but this game, this game, it's it's so good and. I cannot wait, like, this game just came out, so let Ed off rest a little bit, but I cannot wait to see what else he comes out with, because I love retro horror, and, like, there's, like, the Avid aesthetic, like, you just get so much more emotion from, like, <laughs> minimal, like, graphics and stuff like that, but they speak so much. New backgrounds unlocked, new effect unlocked, fuck yes. Um, because there is an option if you want to play this game all three chapters back to back. There's there was a marathon mode, but because I wanted to split this up between two different two different streams, I didn't do that. But I think with that we're gonna wrap things up for tonight. <laughs> But thank you all so, so much for joining me here at the Blue Rose Respite for my extra spooky Halloween streams that I've been doing. I wanted to play Faith for so long, so I was delighted that this was coming out just in time for Halloween. 
and I hope you all have a fantastic Halloween tomorrow and I hope you've been able to have a fantastic weekend as well doing lots of extra spooky stuff like watching horror movies, catching up with friends, maybe reading some like horror novels and stuff like that. But thank you all so much for joining me tonight here at the Blue Rose Respite. If you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far, please consider following. We would love to have you back at the Blue Rose Respite. You're welcome anytime. Be sure to check out my other socials that are in the chat right now, including my Twitter for important updates and other fun things, uh, my YouTube channel for my ASMR tales, and my Instagram for lovely pictures. Um, I just hit a thousand followers on Instagram, which is absolutely amazing. So if you have not checked that out yet, please do. Uh, let me just do a quick check to see who is currently streaming. Um, because for some reason it's not currently appearing on my stream deck. Give me one second, guys. Oh, brilliant. Che with the god, lol, the music of the star menu is my favorite hymn, abide with me. Honestly, like, the 8-bit versions of, like, the classic hymns is so, so good. <laughs> Uh, but let us go to over at hang on one second. Let's go and give some love. Let's go say uh, hello to over to the lovely Brian and Amelia over at Deckard Games. Be sure to give them a ton of love from the Blue Rose Respite. I hope you all have a fantastic Halloween tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, next Friday we'll be doing the second half of Shadows of Rose, the new uh, Resident Evil DLC. And I have a think about what I want to do for my uh, Sunday streams after um, finishing Faith. It's so good. So good. I can't... I'm can't wait to just go back in and try and find all the endings. <laughs> but thank you all so much for joining me tonight, guys. I hope you have a fantastic Halloween tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me for all these spooky stories. And as the Reverend of Requiems, I will sadly be bidding you farewell next Friday once we've finished Shadows of Rose. But I hope you all have a fantastic week ahead. And until then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And as always, Stay wicked and wonderful. Good night, guys. <laughs>